Princess Tatiana of Greece gives an exclusive interview in Athens. Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume of Luxembourg hosts a reception at the Palais Grand Ducal. The Prince of Wales participates in the NFL Foundation UK event in South London. And Crown Prince Christian of Denmark celebrates his birthday in East Africa. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. My name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for Tuesday, October 15th, 2024. In East Africa, His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Christian of Denmark, is celebrating his 19th birthday. Born Christian Valdemar Henri John in Copenhagen on October 15, 2005, he is the eldest son of their majesties, King Frederick X and Queen Mary of Denmark. On the occasion of a special day, the Royal Court of Denmark released a new photo of the Crown Prince with a statement, quote, The Crown Prince is currently in Eastern Africa and therefore celebrates the day under warmer skies. End quote. On October 30th, 2024, the Royal Court of Denmark announced that the Crown Prince will be moving to East Africa beginning on September 4th, 2024. During his stay, the heir to the Danish throne will be, quote, involved in the daily operation of two farms, which will, among other things, include practical and administrative tasks, and also give the Crown Prince an insight into local nature protection. The plan is for the Crown Prince to return to Denmark in December. In the royal family, there is a long tradition that the successors to the throne go on extended stays abroad during their youth and have the opportunity to develop and experience the world. End quote. Happy birthday, your royal highness. I hope you had a wonderful day. In Oslo, Their Majesties, King Harald V and Queen Sonja of Norway welcomed the President of the Republic of Finland, Alexander Stubb, and First Lady Suzanne Inez Stubb to the Royal Palace. The presidential couple are on a three-day state visit to the Kingdom of Norway at the invitation of Their Majesties. According to the Royal Court of Norway, quote, Finland is an important partner and ally, and the visit emphasizes the close and good relations between Finland and Norway. End quote. The state visit began with a traditional welcoming ceremony in the palace square, with the participation of their royal highnesses, Crown Prince Haakon and Crown Princess Metamarit of Norway. Thereafter, the royal family, including Her Highness Princess Astrid Mrs. Ferner and the presidential couple, held a private meeting at the royal palace, as well as posed for an official photo in the bird room. In the evening, Their Majesties hosted a grand gala state dinner in the grand dining room at the Royal Palace in honor of the presidential couple's first state visit to the Kingdom of Norway. This afternoon, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, attended a community event organized by the NFL Foundation UK in South London. Her Kensington Palace. Quote, the foundation, which is celebrating its three year anniversary, is the first international NFL charitable arm and aims to tackle challenges faced by young people across the UK, particularly in areas with high levels of deprivation and low levels of physical activity. It does this through the provision of NFL Flag, a fast paced, inclusive, and easy to access American football format. At the event, His Royal Highness met with representatives from NFL UK and community partners from the Foundation hearing about the work the NFL is doing to help young people. He also watched and joined in NFL flag activities with young people and spoke with NFL players currently playing matches in London. The NFL has been playing regular season games in London since 2007. End quote. On Monday evening, His Royal Highness, Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume of Luxembourg, 
hosted a farewell reception at the Palais Grand Ducal for members of the Council of State. With his appointment as Lieutenant Representative of the Grand Duke of Luxembourg on Tuesday, October 8, 2024, the hereditary Grand Duke has given up his place as a member of the Council of State, a position he has held for almost 20 years. In Paris, Their Majesties, King Philippe and Queen Mathilde of the Belgians, continued their three-day state visit to the French Republic at the invitation of the President, Emmanuel Macron. The day began with Their Majesties participating in an economic forum on the decarbonization of businesses. In the mid-morning, they held a meeting with the Mayor of Paris, Ms. Anne Hildago. In the afternoon, Their Majesties attended a lovely luncheon at the residence of the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Belgium to the French Republic, with Belgians residing and working in France. In Amman, His Majesty, King Abdullah II of Jordan, as Supreme Commander of the Jordan Armed Forces Arab Army, and His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan, visited the King Abdullah II Royal Special Forces Command Group. According to the Royal Hashemai Court, during the visit, the King and the Crown Prince were, quote, briefed by the group's commander on its developments and modernization efforts, as well as plans to build the capacities of its personnel. His Majesty stressed the need to continue enhancing readiness and training to ensure optimal performance and efficiency in various circumstances, expressing pride in the readiness and high morale of the Army personnel. End quote. In Athens, Her Royal Highness, Princess Tatiana of Greece, recently sat down for an interview with the magazine BH Magazino. In the interview, the princess, who is the founder of Breathe Helios, a nonprofit mental health and wellness organization, spoke about her love for Greece. The disappearance of her stepbrother, mental health, and her new mental health campaign entitled The Uniform of Hope. Launched on July 16th, 2024 in Athens, The Uniform of Hope is an quote, athlete-led call to action to eliminate mental health stigma, promote open dialogue, and encourage young people to share their own stories. More than 20 athletes and coaches joined forces to talk about their stories of triumph and heartache, championships, as well as failure. They shared the thrilling climb to the peak of the mountain and the bumpy rope back down to earth. It's the full range of emotion, including the moments of darkness, corresponding to the depression and anxieties felt by many. End quote. Earlier this year, the office of the Greek royal family announced that the princess and his royal highness, Prince Nicolaus of Greece, had decided to divorce after 14 years of marriage. When asked why she decided to stay in Greece after the announcement of her divorce, the princess replied, quote, It was never a question of whether I would stay in Greece. I really feel at home here. This country welcomed me for the first moment I arrived, and for that, I am incredibly grateful. I have lived in Greece longer than anywhere else, while I was constantly on the move all my life. The people, the culture, and the sense of community have made me feel at home here, in every way. I am also happy that my own family has now started to feel Greece as their home. My mother spends a lot of time here, and my brother Boris has invested in business in the country. I am committed to continue building my life here, promoting the country for investment in both health and wellness, but also as the ultimate wellness destination and working on initiatives and projects to benefit the society that has embraced me so much. End quote. And finally, in Rome, Italy, His Majesty King Maswati III of Eswatini and His Majesty King Letsi III of Lesotho attended the opening of the fourth edition of the World Food Forum. During the opening, King Maswati III gave the keynote speech.
And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow on Wednesday, October 16th, with all the latest world news and events. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you, your family, your friends, and your pets, a wonderful afternoon. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you'd like, and click on the notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.